in a way. The world beyond the window is shrouded in darkness. It's faint, but I can hear the sound of rain falling. I miss the rain. The chair is still he here in the ceiling. Okay. What's under the bed? Nothing. I sit down on the bed. My phone. Thank heavens I managed to make it through again. Ah, I wouldn't be in this mess if that horrible collector hadn't sent me this thing. Did she have some kind of grudge against me or something? I mean, I guess I'm the one who palmed it off on her, but still. What is this dark, gloomy place? It's like an art studio. Did the painting create this place? My laptop was my last ray of hope. But it won't connect to the internet, and its batteries have almost run out too. And yet, these strange messages sometimes appear on the screen. Are they fragmented notes from people this painting has captured in the past? The previous owner was an art gallery manager who went missing. I think I saw a note that could have been left by him too. Day one. Maybe the space somehow archives the memories of its victims, and only fellow prisoners are able to access those memories. Thankfully, I remember everything I studied about this painting. As long as I reference the previous victim's notes and meet the painting's demands, I should be fine if I can solve the mystery of the girl with the blue flower. Yes, indeed. The girl with the blue flower. I fell asleep again. Is that a black cat? Wow, here kitty kitty. There's a cat on the table. When did it get here? Oh, wow, can I pet the cat? Let me pet the cat. Oh, is this painting here before? An old painting hangs on the wall. It's moth-eaten and extremely deteriorated. Depicts a young boy and a horse nearby a stream with a bridge. It's kind of cool. Who put that up here? Hmm. Maybe the girl? I don't know. I'm curious about the cat. <gasps> sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Where is it? Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. There's a no bit. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Where is it? What about the cat? It's gone. Jesus, I heard the door open. That was scary. Oh, well, seems like she's still sleeping. I heard the door open somewhere. It's the, the owner's new door with a crown on. A fucking cat crown is caught on a tree branch it won't open this door feels ominous for some reason this cat is here is that cat from before whoa oh are you awake at least it's earlier this time I'm an early bird so I've been waiting for a while okay well, what's going on here then are you, you? Your eyes are closed. Painting change again. You're good at boring paintings of ladies. Mm -hmm. And you don't seem to like to chat. So today, I'd like someone to talk to. Wow. Sure. Day three. I'd like a cute animal to talk to. His color should be mm, the same as my shawl. That would be nice. Sh your shoulder doesn't have any color. Oh, phone. You say the animal I treated you poorly because I'm a bad artist. No, it's because you've got a repulsive personality. Little lady, you even nagged me for the birdcage being empty when I tried to paint that first. You seriously gotta learn some patience, you little she. Ah! My chest hurts. Now, I'm remembering the pet cat I used to have. Man, it was so cute. The animals seem to move around of their own accord once I paint them. Is there any way to get it to go into the birdcage, I wonder? The cat! Ah, the stupid cat. It attacked the little bird. 
I painted nearby. I, 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 I didn't mean for that to happen, little lady. I mean, it looked so cute and innocent and gah. Wait, hold on a second. I told you I'll introduce you to a fantastic painter. Alright, sure, they're kinda gloomy and haven't made a name for themselves yet, but they've got serious skills, I promise. I'm sure they'll be able to paint you just how you want. So please, let me go, okay? Please, I'm begging you. The girl with the blue flower is nothing more than a common appellation. <laughs> the painting's true title is unknown. However, there are many paintings which are thought to have used the same model, and those all date back to the first half of 20th century. It is therefore theorized that they are a collection of works painted by various artists over the same time period. Judging by the fact that the, these portraits are rather well known at the time, we can conclude that the patron must have been very wealthy indeed. Many of these paintings exist to this very day, such that there are even art collectors dedicated to completing this mystifying series. I have seen one such person's collection for myself. In fact, they all have much in common with this painting, from the features of the face, the hair, and down to the trademark blue flower, yellow brooch, and purple shawl, so it's purple. However, no one has yet been able to ascertain the girl's identity. That's it, we found a hint. Purple shawl. Oh, nice carpet. Let's get into this. Oh, a table with a broken leg is lying on the floor. A bed is hanging from the ceiling. There are dark stains on the sheet. Hmm, what happened to this bed? I want? Let's get back there. A bird cage looks like a bird cage. The door is open. Cage for a bird. If there is a bird cage somewhere, there must be a bird. <laughs> Seems like a large window, but it's too far away. Only darkness lies beyond it. Seems like a eye. Looks like a mirror, but it's rested and doesn't reflect anything. What do we uh, know? The cat. We need to find the cat. Here, kitty kitty. kitty. A cat from before. I wish it turned this way, but oh well, she probably like a cat. I should give it a cute face. The cat went somewhere. There's a bird in the tree. It's too far away to see properly, but I'll fix it when I paint it. Bird. A little bird that could fit in a cage. Come down from the tree, it looks like it's scared of something. But it's scared of me, I know. A cat. Okay, so now we should try painting. 